Today, we're looking at what are the four foods that are gonna help our brain to create neurogenesis. And maybe not just create, but to feed neurogenesis so that we can have a smart brain as long as possible. These foods are so pivotal to your health, but they're not uncommon. You're already eating them, so you can relax with that. And I'm gonna share with you how I get one of these foods in my breakfast every morning. So let's go inside, but before we do, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe, and that lets me know that you want to be part of the Biblical Nutritionist family, check out our website, biblicalnutritionist.com. Check out our academy, Biblical Nutrition Academy. Now, let's check out these four foods to help your brain be smarter. Our brain produces new brain cells as long as you are alive, and this is called neurogenesis. Genesis meaning new beginnings and neuro meaning brain. And every morning when you wake up, there are new brain cells being directed. And the health and longevity of these new brain cells is partly dependent on you. Now, there are vast differences in how quickly people produce new brain cells. And your rate of neurogenesis may be the single most important factor for your quality of life. So when neurogenesis is high, you are alive. You're fulfilling your potential and your mind's abilities are enhanced. And you just have an emotionally vitality that is strong and you're protected from stress and depression, you feel good, life is fulfilling, and your spirits are high and your outlook is positive. Yet in the studies, about 60% of these new brain cells die within a few weeks. But this depends on the environment. How are you mentally, physically, and spiritually? If you have chronic or uncontrolled stress or you're not sleeping well, it's going to shorten the lifespan of these new brain cells. Neuroplasticity is how you think, and neurogenesis is new brain cells, and you have control over both of them. And the more you understand that control, the more you understand is scripture. And also, we have a higher neurogenesis effect from sleeping well at night. So blueberries are the number number one food to help with brain improvement. And they've shown in many mice studies that those who have the blueberries in their diet, they have a lower risk of Alzheimer's and they have a less in decline into Alzheimer's. It actually halts it. And so we need to think about having blueberries in our diet. So how are you thinking? Take your thoughts captive. And then what are you eating? Blueberries are a must. So blueberries are the number one food that I want you to start making sure you have in your diet on a regular basis. The second food is flaxseed. The third food is chia seeds. Now let me just share with you something really quick that I do. I have created my own blueberries and cream breakfast. I take flaxseed and chia seed and I freshly mill it and then I add it to a bowl of blueberries and I top it off with anywhere, it depends on my mood for the day, either a quarter of cup of some almond milk or maybe a little bit more. Today, I made it a little bit more. And then you might want to sweeten it with a little bit of stevia. So I've got the chia seeds, I've got the blueberries and I've got the flax seed. Okay, three foods to improve the environment for those neurogenesis, those new brain cells so that I can keep them with me as long as possible and I do need them to be as healthy as possible. Struggling with cravings, fatigue, or confusion about your health, you're not alone. But you don't have to stay stuck. Get the free Bible Health eBook and discover seven powerful steps to real, lasting transformation God's way. Break emotional eating. Learn what truly satisfies. Align your health with God's truth. This is your breakthrough. Get your free Bible Health eBook now on the website thebiblicalnutritionist.com. It's time to take the first step toward vibrant health, both physically and spiritually. Now, the fourth food that I wanna share with you is coming up right behind me over here at the Fishmonger. So the fourth food is salmon. And as you can see, they got fresh wild caught salmon here. That's why I like shopping here. These foods specifically, the ones I'm talking about today, actually help to protect against brain cancer, stroke, neurotoxins, excitotoxicity, and may even help with Parkinson's, MS, and neurodegenerative diseases. The omega-3 found in flaxseed, chia seeds, plus this wild-caught salmon is going to help with neurogenesis. Now, as I said, studies have shown the highest rate of new neurogenesis happens when we sleep. So listen to these verses about morning time. Isaiah 50, 4 through 5 says, The sovereign Lord has given me a well instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning. He wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. Psalm 59, 16, But I will sing of your strength in the morning. I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. 
Psalm 90, 14, Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Psalm 130, verse 6, I wait for the Lord more than the watchmen wait for the morning. Psalm 30, verse 5, For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. And then lastly, Psalm 5, 3, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. As we see, Scripture confirms that what is happening overnight in the morning is when new things are going to arise. It's when our thinking is in confirmation with what God's Word says. Thanks for joining me here at Tom Leonard's. I hope you have a grocery store that you love to visit or a farmer's market that's family owned. It's just more fun that way and you get to talk to the actual grocery people and they know the farmer. So I like the connection. Thanks for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And never forget, never forget God loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. He's loved you from the moment of conception and you were created just as you are for a purpose. There's no mistakes about it. There's no reason to be confused. You were created for a purpose and God loves you more than anything you could ever imagine. Thank you for letting me share with you, again, God's recipe for excellent health. Thanks for watching. Struggling with cravings, fatigue, or confusion about your health, you're not alone. But you don't have to stay stuck. Get the free Bible Health ebook and discover seven powerful steps to real, lasting transformation God's way. Break emotional eating. Learn what truly satisfies. Align your health with God's truth. This is your breakthrough. Get your free Bible Health ebook now on the website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com. It's time to take the first step toward vibrant health, both physically and spiritually. Are you ready to have more fun in life and not be plagued with sickness and tiredness? At the Reclaim Retreat, we see transformations happen as soon as you arrive at this anointed place, a sacred space where God is at work and you can truly rest in His presence. Join a community of like-minded individuals ready to reclaim their health, their joy, and their God-given purpose. Come be refreshed, be renewed, be transformed. Spots are limited, save yours today. Register now at biblicalwellnessretreat.com and reclaim what God has already promised you.